Welcome to Busy Bee Living. Today we are starting off here in my backyard. Why? Because we finally have Wi-Fi. Yeah, it was so weak, uh, so spotty. We couldn't really do anything back here. Um, we really had to stay within the house. And now we have a strong enough Wi-Fi where our, we can work out here in the elements as well as address some in my garage where I have a Shaper Origin uh, that you can unlock extra features with it with the capability of Wi-Fi. Now, before we get started, the max internet speed we had in our area was 75 megabytes per second, which might sound pretty slow to some of you. So when you look at the examples at the end of this video, keep that in mind um, when you're looking at um, the speeds that we're getting. It all has to do with depending on what's first coming in and how much you can get from that. So if you're in your area, if you have some faster Wi-Fi speeds, um, like 300 megabytes per second or plus, um, you're gonna get more out of these devices. We ended up going with the Nighthawk Wi-Fi extender um, because of the area that we wanted to cover. And with it just being one unit, it made it a lot easier. You didn't have to branch off to a bunch of networks um, and jump from one Wi-Fi hotspot to the other. This was just one bro uh, broadcast of an extender. So that's kind of why we settled on this. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna show you how we were able to set it up. And then at the end of the video, we're going to go ahead and show you the difference. Now on the top will be the start before we had the Wi-Fi extender. And then the bottom is going to be our Mac device after the extender was added. And you'll be able to see the difference that it made throughout the home and outside. If it's something that you're looking for as well, we have provided a link to the product below, as well as one step below it if you didn't need as much square footage. If you do use those links, it does help us out. So thank you very much. With that being said, let's dive into it. So you're going to need to download the Netgear Nighthawk app. And the first page will pop up to allow send you notifications. It's also going to ask you if you can allow it to track you. I don't know about that, but that's up to you. And then we're going to go ahead and share its location to set up the service. Now we're going to go to the next page and create a new account where we're just going to put our name, email address, and password. And you can turn on face notification as well. And then we can go ahead and get the congratulations. Just remember to verify your email address within that 24 hours. And now we can get started. So now here you can see it says put the uh, Netgear Nighthawk halfway in between the dead spots and your router. So we're going to go ahead and do that and allow it to the network. And then once it is able to join the network, we can come back here and start getting it ready for our Wi-Fi. So once it finds the extender, you hit next, and now it's connected to it. So now we are connecting to the router by identifying your Wi-Fi, as also your 5G as well. Mine are the same, so I can easily click that green box and put in one password. And it's going to go ahead and verify the configurations of the network. But while it does that, it can share you a few tips on the app while you're getting ready. And now that I've verified the connection, you are now set up with your app. So you just need to make an administration login. And now your app is ready to go. So we did a quick test. And you can see my speed's doing quite well with this. But here is the before and after tests. On the top is before and on the bottom is after. And specifically, you can see the download speeds drastically increasing. I did not realize how many dead spots I had in my house until I took my Mac around, went to the AT&T's website, did a quick test, just a device test. And then I came back with that same computer and did the test again, and you could see the drastic changes in download. I even went outside and there is one spot that I couldn't even perform the test. And you'll see that right here. Now I have almost 20 megabytes per second, as well as another dead spot that's up to 32 and even better download speeds in my garage. So overall, this system is really working well. All right, well, I hope this video helped you either make a decision if the Nighthawk was the extender for you or if you already purchased it, it helped you with its setup. 
as always, we really appreciate the support. If it's your first time here, we'd love to have you on board. So think about subscribing to the channel. It really help us, helps us out. And if you're returning, thank you for the support. You guys have really come together as a community and share uh, in the comments below. And it really helps us grow as a channel. So thank you very much. So until next time, thanks for buzzing by. Catch you in the next video.